So, got myself a palette. Uh, I don't know if this one's going to be that great. Um, didn't see anything that really stood out, but I bought it anyway because it's such a nice day. And I feel like unboxing one. So, um, it is much, much cleaner in here compared to the last time I did one of these. So, I uh, got the table set up and um, we're going to go through. We're going to unbox it. It's probably going to be a long video. Usually, these are over an hour. So, um, get comfortable. Grab a drink and relax, and we're going to unbox this palette and see if we can find any treasure. So let's get started. Here's the first box here, a Century Safe. Not what's in it. Sounds like dishes. We know dishes are what's usually in these palettes. So uh, we'll just go through it, see if we can find anything of value. Well, that's looking interesting here. Oh, garage sale stickers all over this stuff, so it's probably not going to be a good palette. Because all the good stuff would have sold at the yard sale. Um, yeah, just a little weird thing. So I just kind of go through this a little bit. We won't go through every single item like last time. Here's a wooden shoe. Don't see any names on it. Um, from Holland is the other one. Looks like it came from a thrift store originally with the tag there. They had $5 on it. Couldn't sell it. Um, here's some measuring cups. But yes, most of this stuff, you know, is going to be junk. I bought this palette for the excitement, uh, uh -oh. just like always. And um, I'll go through it kind of just briefly uh, while we're unboxing it here because it'll take too long. It's kind of a nice glass. I tend to find a lot of stuff that I want to use. Um, here's something they had priced at $12 at the, hopefully it's showing up all right. It's probably not worth anything it looks like a newer tag from a store and i will go through all this stuff more thoroughly later like the uh last time and look up stuff individually make sure there's not anything as good i have not seen anything that indicates that this is going to be a, a high-end palette by any means um i just bought it because it's been a while since i got one of these and uh, i've been kind of thirsty to do one um and then again if you if you sell all this stuff at like a garage sale or flea market actually price it sane like uh, a dollar or like that thing that was 12 bucks you price it at like two dollars uh then you can move stuff you can get your 50 dollars back just for doing that that's not my business model i say every time uh so i won't be doing that and then i'll just kind of put this stuff over here I would love to find some retro video games or anything, but let's be honest, if this stuff is leftover garage sale stuff, there's not going to be uh, any uh, good video games or anything like that. But you never know. Um, this might not all come from the same household. I don't know exactly how these pallets work. Here's some bendable guy. Kind of weird. Let's just sit him like at the edge of this table here. You sit there, little guy. Here we have some Anchor. So they wanted $2 for that at a sale. So we're still in some garage sale stuff here. Is this empty? That is an empty box. That's something I haven't come across much in these pallets. Is uh, actual trash. Like most of it's in good shape. Uh, it's stuff that's usable like these glasses. Even if they're not worth a whole lot. I'm trying to figure out what this thing is. It's from Switzerland here. Just kind of that out another thing I noticed in a lot of the other palettes I've gotten the glassware has been wrapped and taken care of here is kind, of, kind of thrown in so they didn't have much respect for their stuff here oh, this is a dehydrator or something right I don't think that's worth anything so I have a feeling and this is not being negative I have a feeling just based on you know reality of what I'm seeing that this palette is going to be not worth a whole lot but I've said that about other palettes and I always find something interesting I imagine people who do flea markets uh, or someone that just has a thrift store or a little shop getting these for 50 bucks is what I paid uh, it's definitely gonna be worth it for you now me to make money uh, my other reselling stuff is definitely more worthwhile just because I can make more money for my time we got here some candles. 
just a little house full of things. Now, if you remember the last palette, if you watched that, I was just throwing around brushes and stuff like that. And I went back and looked them up. And there was some brushes that were actually worth about $75. So I really have to be careful. And just for the sake of the video, I'm just kind of just glancing to see if there's anything very interesting. And if not, then we're just going to move to the next box. I'll go through it more thoroughly. Uh, I've just been donating this stuff to Goodwill after I unbox it. Because I don't have room to store it. Uh, maybe one day I'll find like a, a business partner who wants to sell this stuff. Um, maybe they have a building or a garage and we can have a sale every few months or something with it. If I keep getting them. I don't think this is going to last getting these pallets. Here is some weird... Oh, it's got the batteries in it. See, I can see somebody... Uh-oh, how do I turn it off? There we go. That should be off. <laughs> I hope that turns off. I turned it to the off. Okay. There it goes. Here we have a... From Japan. But, you know, it's probably not worth anything. Um, just more generic looking glassware. Still got garage sale stickers on stuff. So, not the greatest stuff so far. And I did have an opportunity two or three weeks ago to buy a pallet that was at Salvation Army, but after I looked at it, there's just some signs you see of stuff that people own where you say these people didn't have either the most money or they just did not you know, buy high-end stuff or they're not donating high-end stuff. So um, I ended up passing on that one. Plus, I was just really busy. So it's been about three weeks. This is Pyrex, but it's, it's nothing special like this type of Pyrex. It looks a little scratched as well. Um, that actually, that's got some chips in it, so, oh, it's broken, I just see some glass shards, and here's just a bunch of glasses, kind of nice glasses, and I know I should be wearing gloves, it's actually not that hot out today, the last couple of times I've unboxed these, it's been like 100 degrees in here, uh, today it's, you know, it's only in the 70s, so it's, it's still warm in here, but it's not, it's not really hot. Also, so far, every palette that I've gotten, this is my fourth one, um, I've ended up making money on it. At least a couple hundred dollars um, was my worst one. And, uh, of course, I still have a lot from the last one to list and sell and move. But the last one I paid 50 bucks for, I'll probably make about $750. There's some quality stuff in there. And that's donating all the random stuff like you're seeing here so if I were to be able to have a flea market or a sale I'd probably add another $200, $500 possibly uh, wow look junk um, <laughs> made in Hawaii out of lava it says so that's pretty cool um, I'll set that aside I don't think it has any value but it's something I might want to keep uh, I get little necks and stuff here I don't think that's anything too good. Little uh, president's head. It's like plastic or something. What else we got in here? Anything. Some wrap stuff. An Anna vase. <laughs> What's an Anna vase? It looks like it has Artist 2013 has a tag on it so probably just a local style artist but it looks cool I'll look it up make sure of course I'm gonna look through anything that has a name I typically look up um, wow, that stuff. I don't know why that was wrapped uh, let's see coffee mug still seeing those garage sale tags not seeing anything in this one either so here's this sleep cell uh, like sleeping bag thing I don't know if this has any value I'll have to look it up I'll show everything of value at the end 
but uh, it was just laying on top of the pallet, so I got that. Here is, um, well, it says a Polycom. It's one of those conference phones. I wish that was what's in it, because those things can be valuable. Uh, maybe it is in here. Hey, it is. Looks like it's in here. Some of these models can sell anywhere from $100 to $200. This one looks like it's an older one. Um, oh, man, look at the cable, though. I think the cable's <laughs> kind of messed up. I was going to say these power packs, sometimes I've sold for uh, like 50 bucks before. So this is just something I'll have to look up later. It's from 1994. I see a date. So I'm guessing this one's just not going to be... Um, really worth much but you never know we'll look it up and if you see anything in any of these boxes that i'm opening that you think's worth value make sure to let me know in the comments people usually do but remember uh, i'm looking for stuff to sell online so i'm not going to sell stuff like this even if it's worth like 10 bucks because oh that sounds like something's in there uh oh should i open that I'm not going to sell stuff that's like 10 bucks on eBay just to make like a dollar or two after shipping. So I want to make at least $10 profit off of anything I sell online. I'm going to open this. This is probably a terrible mistake. Okay, it's kind of sealed off. I'm just not going to mess with that. Um, all that stuff will probably get redonated. Some of this um, says it's silver plate. Now, I don't think silver plate stuff is going to be worth anything. Um, but there's a lot of it in here. I'll have to go through and look at all the names. Dollar. Um, I don't know. Some of it could be valuable. I'm, I'm surprised that these pallets and stuff that I did not think was valuable. Then I look it up and see it's worth like 50 bucks or something. I actually had no plans to buy this pallet today. Um, <laughs> I had some work I wanted to get done, but, you know, it was there. So I just changed my plans. Look at all this Christmas stuff. It's hard to find a palette without Christmas stuff, but look how neatly arranged it is. And you can see it still has garage sale prices on it. Um, just, uh, I have to pass. And also, these palettes can have any kind of item on it except clothing and shoes. Uh, their clothing goes in bins and their shoes goes in bins. So, um, I guess what happens is Salvation Army just um, separates when stuff's donated. They separate clothing and shoes. Even though um, usually I find clothing on pallets and sometimes shoes. Um, I found a pair of shoes before, so they can get mixed in. Salvation Army can miss it. But um, I do notice a couple bags with clothing. Uh, I see. So some clothing didn't make it in here. What we got in here something broken. Um, Warped Wing Brewing Company, Samuel Adams Glass, could have been nice glasses, but not anymore. I'd be careful with this stuff so I don't, you know, shove glass in my finger. Um, I haven't been wearing gloves when I do these just because it's so warm, but, you know, today I don't really have an excuse, so if I cut myself, I just, it's all my fault. But yeah, just more houseware stuff. So with the chance of these pallets having anything in them, they could have you know, old video games, which I collect. That's really what I'd love to find. They can have electronics. I found a, a Yamaha system in one of the pallets I bought that was really nice. I found a lot of DVDs. DVDs. The last pallet, I found one DVD that sold for 60 bucks, And, uh, you know, I paid 50 for the whole pallet. You never really know. Um, obviously, you want people to be, you know, donating um, very nice those an untuck it shot glass, it looks like. Um, actually, when I was out thrifting today, I um, picked up a lot of Hard Rock Cafe shot glasses I think I'll make some decent money on. You'll probably see those in a vlog video since I was recording. Um... See, just a random other glass. Baskets. Baskets. People like to buy baskets. I don't know if there's any good high-end baskets in there. But this one's looking to be mostly houseware stuff, which is disappointing. I would like to see some media, some electronics. But most of that stuff probably sold when they had the yard sale. So this is exactly the kind of palette 
Uh, I don't want, if I, if I'm looking at a palette and I can see, since everything's boxed up, it's shrink wrapped when I'm looking at it. If I could see like garage sale stickers or just a little bit in a box that has garage sale stickers, um, it's, it's probably worth just passing on. Did you want somebody that's just clearing out good stuff to make room or unfortunately someone passed away? And you want them to just be dropping stuff off that has value. It hasn't been picked through. So this might actually be a, a dehydrator in there. Um, it says $5 right there on the box. We'll take a look. Yep. Looks to be the dehydrator. I don't know if it's going to have any value. Probably not. So over here, look it up. Found a, uh, what was it, that last palette? Like a... Black and Decker mixer or something that was worth like 40 bucks on eBay. So it's got to got to pay attention to everything. Some candlesticks. I actually need some of these. A pair of scissors. An owl mug. Kind of a cool mug. Hopefully, I get in all this in camera. Um. Not looking to be anything like a fake beanie baby. You can't even get real beanie babies in your palette. You know you're not doing too well. So we'll go ahead and retire this box for now. So I have not found one item that I'm 100% confident in. I'll make my money back. The uh, last palette, they were the all clad. Um, Two pans that which I knew right away before I even started unboxing I already doubled my money at least and it actually was worth quite a bit more um, like one of those was 175 bucks the other one was about a hundred so that's 275 dollars um, before you're even unboxing uh, this one a bell from Kmart looks like more kind of Christmasy stuff um, these are Oh, the tea light candles. I actually could use some of those, too. I'll never have to buy candles again. I've gotten so many candles from these uh, palettes. I just wanted to look at this because it looked interesting. we got Studio Crystal tea light holders. Now, there was some, I think it was called Party Light or something. The last palette was worth like 20 bucks. Just some little candle holders like this. So I always want to, again, I keep repeating myself, but I want to make sure I'm paying attention to everything. And I won't go through each and every item right while we're looking through it. Also, if this palette is just dishes and kind of just generic stuff, I may cut a lot of this out of the video just because um, I don't think people care to see a lot of this stuff. It's nothing too exciting. We can see the theme. It's, it's pretty easy once you start doing these palettes. You can start seeing themes of how things are going. Now, see, uh, this stuff, I don't see garage sale stickers on. So maybe we've gotten to a, where they're just donating stuff that they didn't have at the sale. Or there is another household mixed in with this, which is what I'm hoping for. But if I end up finding nothing to sell, even if I lose all $50, that <laughs> cost me to purchase this at that time, I still really enjoy doing it. Uh, it's something fun and different for me than just walking up and down aisles, buying clearance and, you know, listing stuff. And it's just, it's just fun and relaxing for me. So I definitely have no problem um, spending the money and the time now to do this to make money. If this was my only way to make money, I'd probably be pretty disappointed in this. But let's be honest, like, if I was doing this, these pallets for a living, I would have these set up a store or something. Colonial Homestead by Royal. Probably not worth anything. Got some good dishes in that last pallet, too. That last pallet was amazing. Um, maybe it spoiled me a bit for pallets. Even though so far this is easily the worst pallet um, I've, I've got. Oh, what we have here is a garage sale sticker, so <laughs> probably the same house. Okay, next box. What do we got here? Plastic wear. Glasses, of course. The 
Same old kitchen stuff. We got something there. A head. Yeah, I don't know what that is. It's from 74 and it's got a, a number on it, so <laughs> we'll look it up just in case. Can't imagine that being too valuable. But yeah, more kitchen stuff. So at this point, I think we're halfway through, maybe a little bit more than halfway. And we're just going to keep on going. Um, I think I, I'm not being too positive on this one right now, but we'll keep going, hopefully find something. Some plates came from the Christmas tree shop. Uh, not, there's more housewares. Like how much housewares can somebody have? Again, this is all just garage sale leftovers. So, definitely kind of got a, a dead palette there. Another thing you can do is find somebody that does sell at yard sales or flea markets and just sell them all this stuff to recoup your money or make profit. This one's a bit more interesting here. Got some tile. Not enough to do anything. Looks like you got some craft felt. Some craft stuff can be good money. What do you got here? Some like craft paints and stuff. If they're not dried out, you could probably lock these on eBay, um, just depending on brands. Uh, plus, we're also got to consider selling stuff locally is a possibility. But yeah, um, what is that? Some sticks. I don't want sticks. Wouldn't mind finding some tile. I got some nice tile in the last one, which I, for, I think I forgot to show. But it was really nice tile. There's only like seven or eight pieces though. But that kind of tile, like if there's certain designs, like this is real basic. People, you know, they, they go out, the stores quit selling them, and if something gets broken and they don't have replacement tile, they have to try to find those those tile again. And if you're the only one that's got them on eBay, you can pay up for them. Whoa, we got some media. Some different types of stuff. Some sealed bubbles. There's uh, DVD RWs. Here is... A DVD game. It's not going to be worth anything, unfortunately. Um, what we got here? What are these candles? Um, using cell phone protectors. More owl mugs. There's a lot of owl mugs. I might actually keep all those. I'm kind of like owls. I'm not going to lie. I really... I've gotten into owls more over the years. I think they're such a cool creature. Um, what else we got here? These are kind of neat. Kind of match my kitchen. Looks like it's a three canister set. Maybe I'll set those aside. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've been kind of redoing my house with some of this stuff. It's been coming along nicely. Uh, like the stuff that I, I would buy, or maybe a, some stuff I wouldn't buy, but since it's there, I'll take it. The stuff that I could use, like tape and just random things like that. I'm just trying to see if these are sealed. They are sealed. So maybe those could be sold on eBay or something. So we'll set those aside to look at. Uh, all of these I'll probably keep as well. Because I, I like burning candles. I like burning candles, and I, know why. I like owls and burning candles. I'm a weird dude, okay? Next box, moving right along. I'd love to see a box of just DVDs or media. It's some broken glass I see already. Ooh, look at that one. That one was wrapped. Universal Cambridge. All right, we'll set it aside. Hopefully I can find enough stuff to at least get my money back. Almost always do. Here's some Miller High Life. Um, you see in the last palette I got those, what was it? It was uh, Jack Daniels shot glasses. There's like six of them. Those things sell for like 50 bucks. I was pretty shocked. 
So I will have to look up some of these, uh, you know, brand name alcoholic beverage glasses. All this stuff's wrapped. I'm not going to try to unwrap it. It's probably not worth a whole lot. So I just remembered um, the last carload, because it took me three carloads to get to get all this stuff here. I haven't unloaded it from the car yet. So I guess we weren't quite halfway there before. Um, so we'll keep going through this. Looks like some wall art. I did really well on books as well last time. I got some books that sold for about, I think one sold for like 80 bucks. I had to pause the video there. Somebody was making a lot of noise outside. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I made some good money on books. Here's some pens and office type stuff. Now, I have to go through all of these. It, looks, it doesn't look like there's anything too high end. So maybe that one. There's certain pens that can sell for great money. Even pencils that can sell for the in the hundreds. So you have to keep an eye out for that kind of stuff. Uh, what do we got here? Looks like some bunch of cards. Probably for cards for every occasion. My mom would probably like those. Um, there's a photo album. Still new. Looks like some bookends. Nothing else looking like it's really worth a whole lot. Next box. This is the box. We'll turn this around. Oh, we got a, a lot of Christmas ribbon. That is a Christmas ribbon collection. Uh, I see people got this price at like a dollar. You know, if I was having a sale, it would be like everything was just like a quarter. Um, unless, of course, it was something higher end. Um, or I just like this whole box, $3. Um, I would not be stingy with this stuff. I would just want it to move. I just want to transfer it into money. And um, there's a lot of value there, though. If you used to go buy all that ribbon new, you'd be paying probably two or three hundred dollars for everything that's in this box. Here we go. Getting low on boxes. Not looking good. Uh, I see something sealed down there. Just trying to reach down here and not lose my hand. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, some sealed media. Probably doesn't sell for much on Amazon. But we'll look that up. Try to make a few bucks on that. I say a few. I mean, probably just two or three. I would imagine. I feel like every every palette has had like water balloons. So bizarre. Here is a comb set. Actually, that's fell uh, out. This is a wall um, trimmer. Um, usually some of these trimmers can be worth a little bit, some models, this one doesn't look to be, um, we'll definitely check it out, you know, if I can sell it and still make $10 profit after shipping it, um, I'll go ahead and sell that. Uh, what else we got here? That's about it. This box is labeled Christmas, but it looks like 4th of July or something in there, it's like a flag. Let me in. Yeah, this is not Christmas. Um, <laughs> hey, look, a USA hat. It is starter, so that could have that could be worth twenty or twenty-five. It's in a little dusty shape, but yeah, I think that may be something. Hopefully, you know, it's it's worth fifty. So I can cover the cost of the pallet. We're starting to pick a few things now. I think we're going to at least make $50 on this to get the money back. And wow, there's some weird stuff in here. This is like America. Everything in here is like Fourth of July, Independence Day. Just bleeding United States. Here's something that's sealed. 
seal is kind of rough. I can't sell it on Amazon. The plastic ones aren't going to be worth too much. So we'll set it over there. What else we got down here? Something else sealed. It's just, oh, it's not even sealed. It's just one light bulb. Here is a Goofy. At $8 on this. They had a very expensive yard sale. It is made by Walt Disney, it looks like. I don't know the age. We'll set it over here to look up, see if there's any value. I'm not holding my breath on that one. Got a Mary Kay cosmetics display tray. Some Mary Kay stuff's worth money. I don't know if that is. Oh, so you got electronic. So, is that what it is? Oh, it is a... Nope. <laughs> it's got dishes in it. Oh, and they're about to fall out. No, I thought this was a Kenwood um, CD player, it looks like. But no, there's just some dishes in there. So, nope. even if it was a CD player, it wouldn't be worth that much. Um, there's some media down here, finally. What do we got here? Notes on a scandal and a Madeline VHS. Not too good. Got a mop head replacement for a Insta mop. That actually could go for something on eBay if somebody has these mops and then it's hard to get the mop heads anymore. So, I don't know. Hey, look at actual Beanie Baby. Never found one of those worth reselling. Um, well, this one, this box was probably the most exciting for me, anyway. <laughs> Just, see, that's pretty cool. But they should not have priced it at five bucks. They should have, they should have priced it at, you know, like a dollar or something. They might have moved. If somebody's at a sale and they're like, oh, that's nice, ooh, $5, you know, I pay a dollar or 50 cents for it. A lot of times, people won't ask for that low of a price if you already got that high of a price on it. Just the, just how I would do things. And, yeah, this is, this is Christmas stuff. They do have it organized very nicely. And, uh, I think it would sell around Christmas time. You know, if I was buying like two or three of these a week, what I would do, um, like, you know, my, my friend 1080p was in the last video. He has a great location by a busy road. There's a little store right by his house. He's got you know, like a three car garage and, uh, you could just have a big Christmas sale and just sell all the Christmas stuff you get off these pallets. And of course, throughout the year, you could just have sales like every two or three months after you gather a ton of stuff, just sell it cheap, sell the the valuable stuff on locally, on Marketplace, and online, I think it would be a legitimate business. The thing is, I just don't, you know, you can't guarantee that I'm going to even get another pallet. So, getting two or three pallets a week is probably never going to happen. I know there's some people uh, somewhat local to me that I've met while I'm outsourcing and stuff. If you guys are interested in buying this stuff dirt cheap, if you have a way you want to move it, definitely let me know. Because I will sell it to you for like half of what I paid for the pallet, like 20, 25 bucks. Actually, maybe even $20. Just come pick it up. <laughs> Let's see, just a random wine glass. But I, I do think if you have the right tools, you can, you can make a lot of money on these pallets, even on the, the random stuff. Yeah. Eh. Looking for fake plants for the house, but I'm not too into those. What are you trying to protect here? You got this blanket wrapped around it. Well, it's shattered. It didn't help it. It's just a rooster candle lamp. Ooh, that's a nice looking candle though. Kitchen spice. It's got a bunch of glass shards in it. Which I just sn sniffed a bunch of glass shards up my nose. So there's a nice candle. Candles are expensive if you buy them new. They can be like over $20. It's pretty crazy. So I'm always happy to find... Looks like another one. Oh, here's set here. The lemon pie. I'm excited about that one. I think you kind of put this on it. And then there's a base. So, 
You know, I'm not too into that, but I am into the lemon pie candle. And this box was extremely heavy. I don't know what's going to be in here. It doesn't look like houseware stuff. Oh, we got a little bit of everything. It looks like toys. Hey, we got some records and vinyl, it looks like. I think that's the first time I found that stuff in a palette. I'm trying to get this tape off my finger. So, let's see, we got some pencils, some notepads. Uh, we got a DVD. Spooky Buddies. So, that kind of stuff. Uh, let's look at these vinyls. Definitely not a vinyl expert. So, let me see if I got this stuff on. I hope in this new setup you can see everything okay. So, we're just going to... Actually, is there anything in... Is this even vinyl? Oh, this is one of those thicker packs. So, here's what we got. Show that. There we go. Little drummer boy. I feel like my mom had that. I probably listened to some of these growing up. Christmas vinyl, I'm pretty sure, is not valuable. It looks like it's all going to be Christmas stuff. So, you know, no Metallica or Led Zeppelin or anything like that. So, yeah. <laughs> Let me know if any of these are worth anything. I've always heard you know, Christmas vinyl is, is not where it's at. So, I imagine if they had a garage sale, any good vinyl collectors would have just swooped that up. Here we have my fairy garden. Let's see, we're going to have to take some of this stuff out. Pottery wheel, been used. Ooh, ooh we got in sync at all. It's actually been opened. Almost certainly been opened. <laughs> Even if it was sealed, it's not really that valuable. Hey, could this be a, a briar? Definitely doesn't feel like it feels very cheap. I do not see a name, so I would assume that is nothing. Um, boatload of fun. Board game. Let's see what else? Well, we got all kinds of random stuff down here. Here's a bag of dolls see what was it two pallets ago we got a couple American Girl dolls which are pretty nice I don't know if these are anything special I always get caught on film like looking at dolls in very inappropriate ways from 1988 I don't know like what thing ooh that one's kind of kind of freaky <laughs> I was waiting for it to start hissing at me um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe these are something. Again, it's something I'll have to look into. Here we got some more household stuff mixed into this. We got a, a, a big boy uh, bank. Um, I see these, I, I think, fairly often. Uh, not going to be worth anything. Uh, what else we got here? Mystery box inside a mystery box. Hey, this is a Moen uh, faucet set. Looks like for a bathtub. Looks to be unused. So, look that up. I could I could sell for something on eBay. I get twenty bucks for it. Uh, let's see, we got a seat for a bike. No name on it, so not gonna be anything. Uh, you gotta see in here at all. Uh, what is this? It probably says on here, six piece dinner plate set, Amazon Basics. I'm not even going to take that out. Amazon Basics dinner plate set. I'm going to bet that that's not going to be worth reselling. The Skyline Collection. Ooh, look at that. This is 24 karat gold. Um, yeah, it's definitely not gold of any sort. Hmm. Dartboard down here. I'm not going to pull that out. It's my bike seat. Not worth anything. Hey, look at this. Some wallpaper type stuff. Some wallpaper can sell for a lot. 
you would be shocked. Specially sealed, vintage stuff. So, it looks like, well, this isn't wallpaper, this is shelf liner. Most of that's shelf liner, but there is that little bit of wallpaper there. Could hold some value, I don't know. Okay, everybody, it's time to go over some of this stuff and kind of determine how well we did with this palette. I can tell you it was nowhere near as good as the last palette, which is like a thousand dollar palette for 50 bucks. Spent fifty dollars on this one. Now this has a lot of high quality knickknacky type stuff in it, uh, kitchenware, um, but it's just not stuff worth selling online. Like if you used to have a garage sale and sell all this stuff, and of course this isn't all of it. You know, I got all the boxes I went through and packed up over there. If you went through all this, minimum you're looking at probably three hundred dollars profit. Uh, there were some nice things you could probably price at around ten dollars even and get sales at flea markets or garage sales so that's where most of the money is uh, i got some stuff up here like these owl mugs which are pretty cool it's like a set of four or five actually and i'll probably just keep those for myself i got this darth vader little mug for my hot chocolate this winter that's pretty cool so you know stuff like that i'll take this Beanie Baby actually sells pretty consistently for 10 bucks on eBay. So, I mean, it would ship first class. You could make $5 profit in the end. So, might as well list it, right? Um, the Goofy, I actually forgot to look up the Goofy, but I don't think he's anything too special. Um, we got the big boy here. These things sell for about $15 if they're in good condition. This one's just kind of beat up. So, not really worth it there. That would have to go to a garage sale and be sold for like a quarter, 50 cents. But those dollars, those quarters, they add up on this stuff, and it's definitely a lot of extra money. Now, you see stuff like this. They had priced at their sales $12. Like, at, at a sale, I would probably price these at maybe uh, 2 bucks a piece, uh, take a dollar um, <laughs> if someone offered. Stuff like that. So, I wouldn't be asking. Like, look at this one. They had $45 on this. I cannot tell what makes this special. I could not find any names. Unfortunately, it is damaged right here. But I just pulled it to the side to show you. Like Some of these prices that they had on this stuff was absolutely insane. So, um, But what can make money online? Um, well, let's take a look. We got this thing right here, which isn't too valuable to sell online. But we got this Moen set here, which seems to be unused just kind of open and spread around uh, these sell for about thirty dollars new on ebay so maybe twenty dollars in this open box condition uh, i got this corning wear um corning wear thing here it's um it'll sell for well one sold for twenty five dollars on ebay so somebody looking for that piece that matches their collection um i'll pay twenty five dollars for that Got these kind of vintage, I believe they're vintage, uh, like st window stick ons, like Disney, Pooh. Um, these sell for about 15 bucks a piece. I think they're all new. So that's $45 in sales right there. And uh, you got this thing. Did some research on it. It's a salad shooter or a salad spinner. You, you, you pull that and it like spins in there, I guess, um, spins your salad. So, um, yeah, this thing was selling new for around $30, $40, and it looked like, um, actually, this one, this model right here was selling for uh, $40 new, or no, I think it was $40, it was $30 or $40, but I would say I'd probably price this at $30 and put it on eBay. Uh, this will ship pretty light. Actually, this Tupperware here, this vintage one, I looked up the number, and it sold for about $20, $25, I believe it was. It's just like a vegetable tray so some of the vintage Tupperware stuff can do well these right here I think you could lot together for about 15 20 bucks this um, mop was actually selling for about 20 bucks this mop head replacement for the insta mop um, I, I'm assuming that's new inside I can't see why they would use a mop head and put it back in the box that would be madness oh what else we got here we got this cool cool vent sleep cell um, sleeping bag here that was that was selling for about forty dollars I seen one sell for forty dollars used I don't know if this is used or new they're about sixty or seventy dollars new so that's pretty good I think this uh, USA hat did not turn out to be as good as I thought it would be it looked like you know maybe get 12 15 bucks for this USA starter hat still probably worth listing 
because uh, those things do move pretty well. Probably sell this for 20. Um, make a couple bucks on this on Amazon. Uh, this was actually pretty good. These were selling new on eBay for 20 bucks, uh, probably in this box condition, 15. Uh, this, what I thought was wallpaper, is just contact paper, like for drawers um, to line them. So not what I thought it was. And there's actually quite a bit of that stuff down there. Uh, this jacket, this is a, what is it, dry duck? Dry duck for women, or dry duck for her. Um, I looked this stuff up, and I think you can still get 20 bucks for this jacket. It looks like the, the dry duck for women are a bit more scarce. So I'm probably not going to worry about listing that or anything like that myself, because I just don't have a setup for clothing. Uh, but that is in there, so you can see how this junk, you know, this is why the channel's flipping junk, because you're, you're flipping it. Um, but... I spent $50 on this palette. You're already like tripling, quadrupling your money just on a few of these items. Um, it's nothing like super high end, super awesome, super fun to look at. But um, hey, it's there. It's money. This thing, unfortunately, was an older model. And um, I don't know. Probably won't even be sold because it just, just doesn't move. So that's unfortunate. Even the power supply with the, the cable being kind of messed up. Uh, this thing... Um, I looked it up I can't remember exactly but it is worth selling online um, it does make a little bit of money it has the original box. it might not have even been used I think so maybe it was like 30 bucks got all these Christmas albums here uh, I can do a lot of those some people are looking for lots of Christmas albums probably get 30 or 40 dollars for those uh, it just depends um, some albums are more sought after for Christmas obviously I just don't know what those are. I didn't go through each and individual one. I just looked up Christmas album lots, and that's kind of what I was seeing um, for that mini. Uh, these little dolls, I didn't thoroughly go over them, but I looked up some of the old ones from Mattel, like the, the one that was dated like 63. And it does look like you can get a little bit of money on it, but there's some from 63 that I guess make a noise. They talk or something, and I don't have that one. That one can go for 100 bucks. And then I just got a bunch of this, like, random stuff that I'll use. This um, craft paint here, a lot of it's new in there, and the rest is pretty full. So I think you could probably sell that for, like, 20 bucks um, shipping, maybe locally. So uh, definitely some money in here. I think those are the most noteworthy items. So no, like, home run, holy grail items. But it's stuff that will all move. And I'm going to edit out a lot of the unboxing of this because there's no point in this video being an hour long just to see me unbox a lot of this um but i left some of the I'll, I'll leave some of the unboxing in um let me know in the comments if you want to see like the full unboxing me go through every box or just kind of you know edit a lot of that out so you're not sitting there forever uh, i really don't know what people like to watch but i would call this a successful palette it's just not as good as some of the other ones i got it's definitely not the worst one but um that's going to do it for the video everybody I got to get this stuff dealt with. I got to get some Amazon shipments out. So I got a lot of work to do. But I want to thank you for watching. Make sure you hit that like button for me. Be subscribed. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, flipping underscore junk. Ring that bell notification. Make sure you check out the video right when it's uploaded because YouTube likes that for some reason. If people don't watch it right when it's uploaded and then the, it gets lost in the searches and uh, it, YouTube won't show it to people in the recommended videos. It's, it's all stupid. But anyway... This has been Wick. Till next time.